we're going to go ahead and start with uh, some opening comments from Coach. Well, I, we've had, uh, or since I've been coaching here, there's 15 years of uh, games around finals time. Believe it or not, I've seen some that were a little bit uh, more haywire. It's a tough, it's a tough time to play, but our guys found themselves, ended up doing some pretty good things, protected the lead, got to the free throw line, and I was extremely proud of them for uh, Vito to get a double double and just keep battling. Ethan, as you could tell, was very under the weather, but he battled and battled, and uh, he, he made a difference. He really did. Um, but in case you're wondering if I spent a lot of time getting here uh, talking to the guys about the game, uh, what I talk to the guys about is something I've been trying to do for six months. Um, and bear with me here because it obviously is not easy. Barry and I talked in April. I told him what I was planning on doing he said don't decide now this is not the time don't you know because he went through it so I'm, I'm figuring I'm one of the luckiest people in a coaching position to know that somebody has gone through the same thing also Tom Davis who you guys remember he always said when we would talk about coaching don't ever make a decision right after the season so when the time came in June and people were circulating the rumors that I was retiring and it was like, hey, this is what I heard. This is what I heard. In this day and age, who stops that? You know, it's so. In May, after our 99 banquet to put that team into the Hall of Fame down at Platteville, Glengard's behavior changed. You all know what happened. Everybody knows it's no secret. And every head coach would, they'd like their top assistant to be the coach. There is no way in the world in June, while Coach Guard was flying around the country to the best cancer people in the country and probably in the world, and trying to figure out how he can do something to help his dad. So therefore, we put that on the back burner, retirement. I talked to Barry after, because we didn't know what, how long uh, Glenn was going to be with us. As you know, he passed away. Barry and I have been talking. What's a good time? What we came down to was semester. This is semester. We start finals, and I wanted to give Coach Guard plenty of time to get the guys ready and to get them into the position where, as a head coach, he has a chance, as every former head coach for their top assistant says, to take a run at the job. That's the way this business is, and we accept it. Coach Guard will have that chance. But here's what I told the players, and please don't ever get confused. I got six months with this group because of the circumstances. That's a joy. But I knew, I know the energy level. Barry knew the en energy level in football the things, the demands of the time, the speaking, the traveling, the, the trying to do things to help other people. I, I enjoy doing it. And the thing was, I felt it was time. But I couldn't make the decision at that time. And I don't know how many coaches ever had the opportunity to have uh, a, an AD, an administration that understands and respects that. Extremely hard telling the players, as you can imagine. Can't put that into words.
And I, I had written stuff down. I can't do that. I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you how I feel. I don't know what it'll be like not being able to be. I, I told Coach Guard I'd be a voluntary, voluntary assistant and help out, kind of like Otto does. And he says, nah, Coach, you would just get in the way. I, he really didn't say that, but our staff, what a staff. Unbelievable. Our fans, our students, our boosters, I've said it thousands of times, we got the best. And this isn't to make up for all the times I've disagreed with the audience, but you guys have been really good at showing what Wisconsin basketball is. And very fair. Trying to say that, trying to do a press, we talked about different ways of doing this and time-wise, I know how things get out and how people talk. So if, if anything, if we had planned something, you know that it would have happened that way. So this way, we finish out the last game of the semester. I, it is so emotional right now, and I'm trying to hold this together. And I'll tell you, I still got some people that I have to talk to from the staff that I couldn't get to because I didn't want to say anything before the game. So please understand that this is going to take a little time. And I just ask you to understand that. Because when you've been doing something for 40 some years, it's, but I, I knew it would come. It's just we can't always do it the way we like. But Greg's ready. The staff is ready. All the way through top flight people and I feel really good about that his record as an assistant coach I told the team there are people that have received head coaching jobs who were assistants at places without anywhere near the record that he has not even close and I won't name those people for you but I think you get the idea There's nobody more prepared than him. And I just, I just know that they'll respond. We got good people. So in all fairness, so I can get to these other people, if um, Coach, you and Greg, did you want to, if you wanted to come up here, but I, I got to go get to the other people. Um, and I hope, I thought that was better than reading something. I want to thank the boosters and everybody, the alumni. I'm sure I'll have more to say later, but it's very difficult, extremely difficult. But if you guys have some things you want to ask of them, please do, and uh, I'll see you down the road.